Hi, I'm Maddie, and I'm going to show you the most awesome rainbow ever. You have to see this. Wow, that's amazing! So good, isn't it? <laughs> In order to create these colour sensations, first we need to unpick their components. A primary rainbow is created when light refracts as it enters a raindrop. It then reflects off the back of the droplet and refracts again as it exits the water. This splits the colour spectrum and causes the rainbow to appear between 40 and 42 degrees of incoming light and it appears at this special angle every time, no matter where you stand or where you walk. And because of this, every rainbow is personal to you. To show this, we've rigged a miniature sun and some simulated rain clouds, and bingo, a rainbow. <laughs> Amazing! Right, now if I can control my excitement. Okay, so as we walk along the length of the rain shower, it appears the rainbow is moving with us, but in actual fact, this is an entirely new rainbow we're seeing on an entirely new set of droplets. With every step we take, it's fixed at that magic 40 to 42 degrees. You can't walk round it. And that is why you will never get to the end of a rainbow. Of course, every so often you might see a double rainbow. And believe it or not, every primary rainbow is accompanied by a second. You just can't always see it because the colours are much fainter. This is because a second rainbow is made up of light that reflects twice inside each raindrop and some light is lost during the two reflections. As a result, you can only see a secondary rainbow when the surrounding clouds are dark enough to provide contrast or you could just create one at night. <laughs> Bring on the rain! And sure enough, there you have it, the faint outline of a secondary rainbow. It's absolutely awesome. Now, because the light is reflected twice in that second band of color, it appears 50 to 53 degrees from the direction of the sun, making it appear slightly higher in the sky. And with secondary rainbows, the colors are the other way around, so blue is on the outside and red is in the middle. But light reflects multiple times inside each raindrop, creating even more rainbows. But of course they get weaker and weaker, making them almost impossible to see in real life. However, because reflection and refraction are basic mathematical principles, we're able to detect where the first 20 rainbows would appear in the sky if we could see them. And I'm sure you can imagine that would just look incredible. But whenever we see a rainbow like this, as lovely as it is, we're actually only seeing part of it. A rainbow appears at that magic 42 degrees in every direction. Therefore, a rainbow is actually circular. We don't usually see the full circle simply because there aren't enough raindrops 42 degrees beneath the shadow of our head. However, if we walk into the rain shower, come this way, now there are raindrops all around us, above and below, and if we're lucky, there it is. A circular rainbow and it's absolutely awesome. <laughs>